I've got a Cinderella man right here. Uh, Mark DeRosa may not be the most intimidating nickname you ever had, no, but you did well it. in the postseason. You hit 358. Did really well with a bunch of teams. But I know you went to Derek Jeter, who's probably the guru of the postseason, about what it takes to succeed in this month. What'd you hear? Yeah, I was fortunate enough to play on the USA team in the World Baseball Classic, and I'd be remiss if I didn't ask him a question. But the one question I had for him was, what makes you so great in the postseason? Obviously, he's play, played in 158 postseason games, so he's kind of familiar with the territory. But he said to me, he said, on the drive to the field, I tell myself, nothing's going to happen to me tonight that hasn't happened before. I've hit home runs. I've made errors. You know, I've turned double plays. I've done everything. So I'll let all the, the periphery, let them worry about everything, and I'll just concentrate on just, just playing baseball like I know how. All right, so take a look at the teams in the tournament this year and tell me who's got that it factor, who's the Cinderella player from this postseason. Well, I think a guy that has to be a Cinderella guy, and, and I don't necessarily think he is a Cinderella guy because I think he's a name people are going to grow to love, is that Andrelton Simmons of the Braves. They're going to be getting Kershaw. They're going to be getting Ryu. Freddie Freeman and Brian McCann, I, I, I'm, I'm presuming they're not going to let beat them situation here where this guy can flat pick it he's probably going to win a, multiple gold gloves in his career but he's got pop and he lays in the weeds in the bottom of that order at times and if Kershaw leaves something over the middle of the plate hanging or a heater in or Rayu or Granky, maybe he pops a big three run bomb I know he's got 17 like, like it's showing today he's got 17 on the year highest total since the grizzly Jeff Blauser. <laughs> and here you'll take a look at where he hits his home runs. Obviously a pull hitter there. What does that tell you about his approach? Uh, he's overly aggressive sometimes. I mean, he's just a guy who likes to get the barrel of the bat to the ball. Total opposite of how I approach hitting. I'm a guy who likes to work the ball the other way and give myself the best statistical chance to be successful. But uh, like I said, it only takes one swing in a five-game set to really kind of make the difference and uh, you know, I ho hopefully he can be that difference. Now you did a lot of your damage hitting out of the seventh spot in the order in the postseason. I know you've got a guy in mind also hitting down in the order and another shortstop. Who do you have? Oh, I got Jose Iglesias, shortstop for the Tigers. And I'm going to take a page out of your book on this. I like him not because he's got great tools, because Lord knows he's got great tools, but he's a snake in the grass. He's going to be down in the order because you've got guys like Prince Fielder, Miguel Cabrera up in the center of the order to push him back, and that's where he's going to get his cookie. And he's going to do something with it. He's going to drive it in theater of October play. When those little things end up being so big, he has a chance to be a true Cinderella. And you know, as a storyteller, I like me some stories. So I think what he's really going to shine for came over from the Boston Red Sox to become a Detroit Tiger when Peralta got tangled up in that biogenesis nest. And now he has a chance to be the guy who knocks Boston out. That writes itself right there. That's a bestseller. Wow. Can you imagine if he lengthens that lineup as good as it is? They get production out of the nine hole. Wow. I don't think the Boston Red Sox want to imagine. I, you know, I'm going to bend the rules a little bit here because I'm going to pick a Cinderella guy who actually leads his team in home runs and is sixth in the league in slugging. That's Brandon Moss. Now, I can get away with picking him because when you play for the A's, everybody is a surprise player. Nobody knows about this guy. But what I love about Brandon Moss is he absolutely rakes against right-handed pitching. You can neutralize him against lefties, but check out the Tigers' rotation. Everybody is right-handed. He will play a major role in this series. He will get his opportunities to change the game with one swing of the bat. This is a guy, I don't care if it's a big park out in Oakland, in Detroit, his power plays anywhere. And you see he's swinging a hot bat at this point. So a guy with that kind of power, 30 home runs. You don't think he's a Cinderella guy, but I think the casual fan doesn't know how good he is or how good the A's are. I think they're about to find out. Tell you what, you newspaper guys, go ahead and pick a guy that's a certifiable all-star and say he's a Cinderella. That'll make you look good. It's the narrative. <laughs> you said it. Yeah. It's all about the narrative. I guess so. <laughs>